Okay, so here we go. 10 songwriting tips, part three. This tip I got from a book called Creative Quest by Questlove, the amazing drummer, musician. Also, you'll notice when you read his book, he's a cook and other things too. Allow yourself to borrow from other sources. Okay, so when you're writing a song, don't bother, don't worry that it sounds like another song, at, at least at first, right? Because everything's gonna remind you of something, and that's okay. In fact, maybe that's a good thing. Okay, so along with this idea of taking another idea, <laughs> another song, and borrowing something, one of the key ingredients is the chord progression. Okay, so in this hint or advice, whatever you want to call it, it's going to behoove you to know lots of chord progressions. Okay, start with the chord progressions of the songs that you already like. Okay, and learn those. Uh, if you've already got a chord, bunch of chord progressions in your head, even better. All right, if you come up with your own, even better still. Right, but don't be afraid to borrow chord progressions from other songs, okay? It's not a problem at all. Now this particular chord progression, I'm not even sure if this is literally from another song, but the chances are good that it is also used in another song because there's only a finite number of, of things to do, right? Like we said before. So here's, here's my idea for, for this I'm not like this song. It, it starts A minor seven. F major 7, C, and E7. Just the four chords, which is pretty common nowadays to have a song with four chords repeating themselves, isn't it? Okay, and then there's going to be a bridge later on. Um, this is the step that takes me the most amount of time. And it might take you the most amount of time too, I don't know is I'm going to play the song over and over and over and I'm going to sing it and I'm going to try to get myself into the mood of thinking of, of it being, you know, with the drums, with the guitar, with the bass. And, and in my head, I'm thinking about all that happening, even though it's just me at the piano. Okay. Or it might just be you at the guitar. When I get to a point where I start to like what I'm hearing, I'm going to turn on a stopwatch and time myself because I want to know, is this song going to be within the audience's expectation, uh, which is normally uh, three to four minutes, at least for the kind of song that I think this is going to become. Okay. Anyway, so I'm just going to play a little bit for this, you know, for this video here, but I want to let you know, I've already been, been working on this for probably 30 to 45 minutes before I turn the camera on. And after I turn the camera off, I'm going to work on it at least another hour, okay? Just going it over and over until until I start to get it the way I like it. All right. <clears throat> and uh, another little thing is I have to pretend like I'm a girl <laughs> singing because I'm intending this to be a song written for a woman who's going to sing it. All right, so here I go. Take a selfie, then I delete it. I write a poem, but never complete it. I'm not like this. I'm staring out the window, the sun and the sky. But inside my heart, the lightning collides. I'm not like this. Oh, I'm not like this My mouth begins to chatter Dishes begin to clatter Nothing else matters but you A bundle of nerves, I'm starting to swerve The taste, the sound Song your name stuck in my brain. 
that's enough for now, but but you get the idea. I'm gonna be singing the song and going over the song and 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 trying to feel it and and imagine it with the whole group. This is the step that can take a lot of time. Okay, but again, today's tip is do not be afraid to borrow from other sources. All right, thank you.